All right, here's my Paxis Rockman solar panel. 120 watts, 18 volts, a uh, little fold up pack up panel. So I'm gonna check out and see how well it does. And uh, just a little quick look at the size. It comes with uh, its own measuring tape. No, just kidding, it just happens to match. Um, but uh, that, this is about 20 inches wide, folded up. And it is about 14 inches tall. And while anybody can look up how big that is, I always like to see some reference. So uh, there's a magazine, so it's about two and a half magazines wide, about a magazine and a half tall, just to kind of give you uh, some perspective of uh, what this thing is, how it folds up. So a little bigger than a laptop case, uh, just not quite as wide, maybe an inch wide. Uh, on the back, it's got a pocket. And in this pocket, we've got the uh, cords. Uh, get uh, that out. So, got a uh, fair amount of uh, cord would come with that. I would say it's probably 15 feet, but I didn't measure it. Um, it came with this adapter that'll plug into all kinds of stuff. Um, but what it didn't come with, which was what I wanted, was uh, Anderson connectors. So I just made a um, Anderson connector lead connects to uh, the 5.5 uh, connector that come with the panel. So there's the uh, the wiring set up, and this out of the uh, again just comes out of that uh, pocket that's built into the back of it, and then. Also in this pocket is a little controller with a USB-A and a USB-C plug. Those do work. I, I connected that up, charged some uh, cell phones with it, but uh, I did not get that on video. So uh, there is that option. So you don't need it. Uh, if that's all you want to charge is uh, cell phones, laptops with USB-A or C connections, then you are good to go. And then your little suitcase when you want to put up your panel. Velcro is super strong, but uh, that just opens up. Um, there are two legs. They just uh, unvelcro, and then they have a strap to kind of help you uh, limit them, so it'll stand up and and uh, face towards the sun. But then that uh, that just folds out, and you end up with four panels catch the sun. So next we'll uh, look at it set up. Okay, here's the panel folded out here in the backyard. Just giving it a little bit of test with my uh, kayak battery. So, so as we're looking at the test, um, here is this uh, charge controller is going through. It's a Victron charge controller. Um, my, my kayak battery set up uh, two 40 amp hour LIFEPO batteries and then the um, data that we're getting is getting read out of this uh, Hall Effect sensor back here and then this transmits over to uh, this device it's a remote screen for that uh, Hall Effect sensor so it shows me the voltage of the battery the amps output and uh, wattage um, output going into it so right now we're about 98 uh, 99 watts going into the battery according to this meter so now my Victron app let me get my phone opened up it timed out I uh, get it up so my phone is showing 103 watts going in so that is uh, pretty close to the 98 that this thing's reading and they're off a a uh, couple two or three watts four watts um, voltage is reading at 13.5 13.51 here 13.58 there um, 7.3 amps 5.7 amps is a bigger difference in amperage but this device is reading battery voltage so it's basing uh, that wattage and amperage off of the battery voltage. This, uh, the Victron is reading the uh, solar voltage to get that uh, wattage. At least that's how I understand it, but uh, wattage input is running uh, pretty close 
to both of them and then again considering they're measuring at two different places I guess I am uh, I am pleased with that that both meters seem to be working in a manner that uh, shows accuracy between the two of them so again there's my panel uh, we'll take a look at uh, how this panel fits on a kayak uh, doesn't fit well that's why I always tell people uh, you need a kayak size solar panel to do much charging so there's the setup again we're rolling uh, pretty fair today and again that wattage were 95 watts whoops 100 watts so this is a 120 watt panel so again uh, that's always laboratory ideal laboratory conditions so pretty pleased with that um, certainly not laboratory conditions today it's about one o'clock on a winter February so not the greatest Sun available in the world and it's also uh, quite hazy up there there's a, like a thin layer of clouds all across the sky so not getting direct sunlight even for a February day so pretty pleased with the entire setup and how it is working all right here's what I mean by kayak size <clears throat> so this panel is sitting almost up to the nose of my my kayak folded out is well, I'm just in the my uh, garage on a trailer but you can see it takes up from the bow all the way back almost to the end of my center console now if I'm in this kayak my feet gosh, can we see are gonna be there's my pedals are gonna be right there so I've got from here all the way back to there that would be covering my feet if I was trying to lay this thing up onto the uh, the bow of my kayak And here's what it would look like if I tried to lay it on the back of the paddle. So, on the back of the kayak, I'm sorry. So there is where my seat would be. So if it was up against the back of my seat, it's gonna lay down and let's see if I lift this up, it comes, it's gonna go up over my motor mount. So right to the, to the uh, edge of my motor mount. So to get, six or seven amps of charge you need a solar panel that's too big for your kayak so would it work when you're camping yeah yeah probably so do a good, pretty good job if you could leave it sitting out camping but you're not going to carry it too well on your kayak